Let us consider the microscopic features of suprarenal gland. I am grateful to Dr. Michael Horsch of University of Michigan Medical School for providing the images of histology sections. Suprarenal glands are located on the upper poles of corresponding kidneys. The right gland is pyramidal in shape whereas the left is semilunar. This is a section of suprarenal gland under low power magnification. The gland is covered by a thick capsule. It has an outer cortex and an inner medulla. Cortex develops from mesenchyme and secretes steroid hormones. Medulla develops from neural crest and secretes catecholamine hormones. Based on the arrangement of cells, the cortex is divided into three zones. An outer subcapsular narrow zone called as zona glomerulosa, a thick middle zone constituting 80% of the cortical volume called as zona fasciculata, and an inner zone that is thicker than zona glomerulosa called as zona reticularis. Zona glomerulosa shows columnar or pyramidal cells arranged as oval clusters. These clusters are surrounded by a delicate network of connective tissue. Cells in the zona glomerulosa show densely staining round nucleus, faintly basophilic cytoplasm containing smooth endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, rough endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes and a few lipid droplets. These cells secrete mineralocorticoids, mainly aldosterone, which helps in controlling the blood pressure. The cells are influenced by renin and angiotensin secretion. Between the oval clusters of cells, we see fenestrated capillaries. Zona fasciculata shows large polyhedral cells arranged as longitudinal columns along the layer. These cells show lightly staining round nucleus. Some of these cells may be binucleate. Cytoplasm is faintly basophilic containing smooth endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, rough endoplasmic reticulum and ribosomes and numerous lipid droplets giving a characteristic vacuolated appearance to these cells. These cells secrete glucocorticoids that is mainly cortisol and they are under the influence of adrenocorticotrophic hormone coming from anterior pituitary. Between the columns of cells we find cortical sinusoids lined by fenestrated endothelium. Zona reticularis is the innermost zone in the cortex. It's made up of small rounded cells arranged as branching and anastomosing cords which almost form a network or a reticulum, hence the name zona reticularis. These cells show deeply staining round nucleus and eosinophilic cytoplasm containing smooth endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria showing tubular cristae, lysosomes and lipofusing granules which increase with age. These cells secrete androgens as well as estrogen and progesterone. Between the cell cords, we also find fenestrated capillaries. Medulla of the suprarenal gland shows chromaffin cells, which are arranged as columns. These chromaffin cells are the postganglionic sympathetic neurons with no axons. These are large cells with a large nucleus and a basophilic granular cytoplasm. Most of these chromaffin cells secrete epinephrine few of them secrete norepinephrine. In addition to chromaffin cells, we also find few ganglion cells as well as presynaptic sympathetic nerves. Between the cell columns of chromaffin cells, we find venous sinusoids with fenestrated endothelia. In addition to the chromaffin and ganglion cells, medulla also shows sections of central adrenomedullary veins. Blood supply of suprarenal gland shows three interesting features. Firstly, the suprarenal gland forms a site of portal system 
due to presence of two sets of capillaries. One set has the cortical sinusoidal capillaries traversing the zona fasciculata, which connects the subcapsular plexus with the deep plexus in zona reticularis. And the second set of capillaries are the medullary capillaries located in the medulla. Secondly, the medullary capillaries receive dual blood supply, that is direct arterial blood from the medullary arterioles as well as the venous blood from the deep plexus in the zona reticularis. Lastly, the central adrenomedullary veins show a thick tunica media due to longitudinally running smooth muscle fibers. So quickly recollecting whatever we have seen so far, suprarenal gland is covered by a thick capsule. It has an outer cortex and an inner medulla. Cortex shows three zones, zona glomerulosa secreting mineralocorticoids, zona fasciculata secreting glucocorticoids, and zona reticularis secreting androgens, estrogen, and progesterone. Medulla shows chromaffin cells secreting epinephrine and norepinephrine, ganglion cells, preganglionic sympathetic nerves, as well as central adrenomedullary veins. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can also visit the site for similar histology videos.